Hi everyone and welcome back to Power Electronics Lectures. In today's lecture we'll talk about the modeling of the buck converter. Last lecture we studied the mode of operations in buck converter and we found that this active switch can have two states, either the on state or the off state. When this active switch is in the on state, so we agreed that the current is flowing in this direction. When the switch is on, the voltage across the inductor is equal to L di by dt, which is the voltage difference from this point to this point. So we can say that L di by dt is equal to V input minus V output. What we care about here is uh, the current across the inductor and uh, the first derivative for this current. So here is IL and the first derivative is DIL by DT. And also we care about the voltage across the capacitor, which is uh, V out and the first derivative of this voltage. So here we are trying to find the relation between the first derivative of the voltage and the current and uh, their values. So here we say that the voltage across the inductor is equal to LDI by DT, which is uh, V input minus V output. And the current in the capacitor is equal to IL minus the current on the load. So here, if we say this is IL here, the current on the load or in this resistor is equal to IR, for example, which is V out minus uh, V out over R. So the current here in this capacitor is equal to the current that is coming from the inductor minus the current that is going to the resistor, which is IL minus V out over R. The current within any capacitor is equal to how much? C dV out by dt, because the voltage here is V out. So here we found state uh, voltage and currents in this circuit. When the switch is on. Now let's try to find uh, the same relationship when the switch is off. When the switch is off, uh, this means that this diode is on, it's conducting, and the current will flow in this direction. Now we can repeat the same procedure here and find the first derivative uh, for the current inside the inductor and the first derivative for the, for the voltage on the capacitor. So here we can say that L di L by dt is equal to the difference from here to here. This voltage is zero and this is V out. So this will be how much? Minus V out. Zero minus V out is minus V out. And uh, the current inside the capacitor, dV out over dt, which is I L minus V out over R. In this case, when the switch is off. Now, because this buck converter has two states, the on state and the off state, to make modeling for this converter, we need to combine these two states in one uh, unified uh, equation. Summarizing the equations uh, for these two states, we said that uh, L di L by dt is equal to minus V out plus v in and c dv out by dt is equal to i l minus v out over r when the switch is off l di l by dt is equal to minus v out only plus zero v in and uh, c d v out by dt is equal to i l minus v out over r so if you look at the similarities here, you'll find that these two equations will be exactly the same as these two equations, but with few difference here, which is the zero value here. So we can make relation. It's easy to say that the switch here is on, so it's one, the state is one, and here the state is zero. So the unified uh, differential equation here is equal to di L by dt, minus 1 over L times V out plus something times V in over L. So this can be the state of the uh, switch. So in this case, we can say S, which is 1, or 0, which is 0 here. And DV out over DT 
is equal to 1 over C times I L minus V out over R C. And these are easily the state equations. Why? Because here we have the states. So we can say that the states are uh, the inductor current and the output voltage. And here we have the first derivative for the inductor current and the output voltage, right? And for by uh, and this is will be the open loop back converter is V out, and the input for the open loop is the switch state either on or off. We can make a closed loop system for this one, giving feedback and make comparison with the controller. For example, here we can say that this is minus, this is positive here is the reference voltage and the reference will give to a controller and the controller will give to the switch to give back to the converter try to summarize these two equations in the state space form or state space equation so this will be dv out over dt and dil over dt this is the first derivative for these two states this will be minus one over rc and this is one over c and here we have V out and I L is zero. And this is minus one over L zero V input over L. And the output equation V out related to these two inputs, these two states, V out I L. So this apparently will be one and zero and has no any relation with the switch. So this will be zero. So we can say that this is the A equation. This is B. This is C and this is D. In order to convert from state space to transfer function, so we know that the relation is how much the transfer function is equal to V out or the output over the input. The output in this case is V out. The input is the state of the switch. So this transfer function can be like this S times I identity matrix minus A all inverse times B from the right times C from the left and plus d and we know that this equation from control systems try to apply this equation using these uh, matrices the input matrix the state matrix the output matrix and the feed forward matrix you will find that g of s is equal to c which is one and zero times s i minus a inverse times b which is zero v input over l plus zero S i minus a is equal to how much? S plus 1 over R C minus 1 over C, 1 over L. And here S. Try to simplify this. Bring the inverse for this matrix and multiply, multiply this times this times this. You will get that. Here we have the transfer function is 1 over C minus 1 over L. And here S plus 1 over R C. So this is the inverse for this matrix over S plus 1 over C. This is the determinant times S plus 1 over LC and all multiplied by 0 V input over L. Finally, you will get that G of S, the open loop transfer function, is equal to how much? V input over LC all divided by S squared plus 1 over RC times S plus 1 over LC. And this is the open loop transfer function for the back converter. You can easily find the closed loop transfer function. If this is G of S. So the closed loop transfer function is how much? G of S over 1 plus G of S. That's everything for today. Uh, next time we'll talk about uh, the boost converter, how to design the boost converter. And see you next time.